good morning guys it snowed and it stuck and I'm so happy it was only a two hour delay for school so my son's at school right now but he got a chance to play in the snow before he went off to school it was kind of a, a rushy morning actually even though it was a two-hour delay because I wanted him to have time to play in the snow but I also wanted him to go to school in like dry clothes that weren't wet so I got them all bundled up they played in the snow just for him to have to get changed, rebundled up, and sent off to school. So it was a bit of a stressful morning for me, but it was still a fun morning for the kids. They still had time to have some hot chocolate, and then I also made some muffins. Um, so it's just been like a chill little morning. I think I want to take the girls out for a walk because it's it's completely stopped snowing. The snow's starting to melt a little bit. It's sunny outside right now, which is surprising for Seattle. Um, usually when the snow melts, it's because it's rained so um it's nice that we're getting a little sun um instead of rain so i'm thinking of just bundling the girls up putting them both in the stroller and taking them for a walk i am still a little nervous though because it is still chilly even though it's sunny um i wish they made like heated strollers maybe they do make heated strollers but they're probably hella expensive i might wait like an hour or two first though before we go that way um it can melt just a little more and hopefully heat up just a tiny bit more. Yeah, we're just gonna have a chill snow day today. Hi guys, so I just filmed four sit down videos, like literally four sit down videos. Um, all of them were like reviews. I think they're all gonna be face Fridays, but I also feel kind of like I have so many of them. Maybe I should just put up like two a week or something. Um, and there's a bunch of other makeup videos I want to do like reviews and first impressions and stuff so maybe I'll start posting those more than just Friday um but I use that L'Oreal color stay I got it in like a Target beauty box that I unboxed in December and it's um uh, I was gonna put in my kids stockings but then they got so much crap in their stockings I decided not to um but um, I put some in their hair, they love it, um, and then I put the rest in my hair, and it's one of those things that, like, it stays in until you wash it out, like, it's not a permanent hair color at all, it's just temporary, so I was like, you know what, since I have, like, this cute pink in my hair, I'm just gonna go ahead and film a bunch of sit-down videos, um, before I wash it out, so I was like, I was only gonna film, like, one sit-down video, but then I was like, you know what, I should just, like, knock a bunch out, um, while I have the pink in my hair because it's fun and it's only gonna last until I wash it so yeah but what I wanted to show you guys is um if you saw my like Christmas vlog I showed you guys my husband got me this Michael Kors bag for Christmas it is the Carla bag um, and it is the vanilla logo with the acorn accents and um, right now they are having the Michael Kors is having their semi-annual sale and I also got like a bunch of Christmas money from from family. So I went ahead and got this wallet. Um, where's the, here we go. So this is the, it doesn't have a name. It just says money pieces. It's the large slim envelope trifold. Again, and the vanilla acorn. Um, it looks like this. I'm not gonna, I already moved all of my cards and stuff inside. So I'm not gonna show you the inside. But it has like two rows um to fit a bunch of cards um and i'm just obsessed with it it was originally 128 dollars and i spent 55 dollars on it and honestly even the even though i got it for like um over half off i can't do math that's like what 70 percent off i still felt so guilty spending 55 dollars on a wallet but um i love having my wallets and my purses match and these match like perfectly like how cute is that so I just wanted to show you guys this I just transferred everything all of my stuff from my old bag into this purse I don't know if I can use it all the time though because like I put all of like like I said all of the stuff that I use daily from my other purse into this one and I have three kids so I have like diapers I have a change of clothes for the baby I have wipes um and this purse is like already full so if I'm going on like, and that's just like the basic stuff that I have with me every day. So if I'm going like on a day trip or taking the kids to the zoo or something, I can't use this bag. Like, because I can't fit anything else in there. So, um, 
I'm probably still gonna have to go back and forth between this bag and my old bag but I also wanted to show you my old bag because I just I love this bag and I kind of showed it in my um what's in my hospital bag video but it's this one it's a fake not a fake Louis Vuitton because it's not like it tries to be a Louis Vuitton but it's kind of like a Louis Vuitton look-alike a dupe I guess and it's just such a big bag it looks like this it has this flap right here for a laptop um and it's just huge and you can fit so much stuff in there and then I also like I said I like I think I got this bag for like $35 but then I got this matching wallet and this passport holder for seven bucks for both of them so um again like I just love to have everything matchy matchy and I'll show you what the inside of this wallet looks like it's just one of these sort of wallets I actually prefer the trifold wallets like this one better um because I don't know I don't like zipping stuff up all the time I prefer to make it snap except for when it comes to purses I like my purses to zip up because if it only snaps I feel like someone's gonna just stick their hand in and steal something I know I'm like that sounds crazy and I'm like probably just overly picky with stuff but that's just how I am so um yeah and then this bag just I'll, I'll sh quickly show you what's on the inside like it's already full and this is just like my daily stuff but it's um it again has like a little compartment you could probably fit a small laptop in there it has your main bag here I don't think you can even see like <laughs> since I'm holding it but then there's like six pockets like six tiny pockets on this side for like pens and I put hand sanitizer and lotion and all kinds of stuff in those tiny pockets um but yeah so I just wanted to show you um my new wallet because I'm like I'm so obsessed with how it matches um and I'm glad that I got it on sale not that I would ever spend that much money on a wallet I was already like I said I was already feeling guilty spending 55 bucks on a wallet but um on day trips and stuff I'm probably gonna have to switch back to this bag this would actually be like um this bag is like big enough that it's a really good like overnight bag like even for like a couple day trip if you're only going yourself and not and like you don't have kids or anything I could probably fit all of my stuff for like a three day trip by myself in a bag this size but yeah that's it for now I'll see you guys in a bit okay so I just went to Walmart and I got like quite a bit of hair care um when I was there um first off I got this Equate blonde and silver shampoo um it says compared to shimmering lights shampoo which i've used before and the shimmering lights shampoo is really good so i thought i would try the equate one because it's um cheaper then i also got some herbal essence shampoo and conditioner in the honey and vitamin b i got this because it's sulfate free and i was out of shampoo and conditioner and i just wanted to get one that's sulfate free i don't always get sulfate free i know it's not good for your hair or whatever but a lot of the times I just get what's cheapest, but I'm going to be dyeing my hair soon, so I figured I need something healthier for, like, my everyday shampoo and conditioner, which I don't wash my hair every day, but you guys know what I mean. I would only use the purple stuff, like, once a week, once every other week. Um, and then I've been still having, like, a dry scalp, um, which I talked about a few vlogs ago. Like, I'm having just, like, really dry skin. I think it's, like, a postpartum thing. So I got this tea tree oil scalp treatment. I was just going to get plain tea tree oil um, and dilute it myself with rosehip oil but then I saw this and it's like specifically made for sk dry skin and scalp. It's like got a bunch of other stuff in it like aloe vera and vitamin E both of which I read online are good for dry scalp so I picked that up and then I saw this. Um, I was going to get the like it's a 10 leave-in conditioner but then they had this at Walmart and it says compare to leave a 10. I looked at the ingredients and the ingredient the ingredients are so similar there's only like a few things um, that are different between the two so I'm gonna try the equate one it was half the price as the normal leave a 10 I got the Dove um, dry shampoo again 
because I was running out of dry shampoo. It just so happened that I was running out of like all my hair stuff at the same time. But anyways, I got the Dove dry shampoo because I was running out of dry shampoo and I saw a TikTok recently from a like hairstylist and she said that like she never suggests drugstore hair products except for the Dove dry shampoo. That's like the only thing that's drugstore that she recommends. So I got that and of course I'm going against all of her advice because everything else I'm getting is drugstore. And then next week, I'm not going to do it this week because we're actually about to go out of town and I don't want to like mess with my hair if I have to fix it again. But um, I want to dye my hair. Um, I've been talking about it for a while so I finally just went ahead and picked up some hair dye. Um, I think I'm going to try to do like an ombre thing, which I did, I've done a few times. I did, last time I did anything color-wise to my hair was a year ago. Um, so I just got three boxes to do that. Um, I'll probably only need two, but, and then I just got a backup just in case. So, um, and then like worst case scenario, then like next time I want to dye my hair, I already have a box. But yeah, that is just my little hair care haul. This is pretty much all I got at the grocery store with the exception of like bagels and also diapers. Um, so I thought I would share with you guys. I also wanted to show you the sign that my daughter and I made. I've had like a sign with this saying on it. Um, in my like Amazon wish list for a really long time and I was going through my Amazon wish list and just kind of like clearing stuff out and I saw it again and I was like you know what I could make that and I started making it and while I was like writing the thing down I was like you know what would make this perfect is just have my um, daughter like scribble on it because like we have a lot of I mean I don't know if I've actually showed it in a blog but we have a lot of areas on our wall that are scribbled on so I thought that would be so perfect to just hang up so um, we worked on this a couple days ago I love it I'm like I think it's just so silly um, so I just hung it up over here with these signs and eventually when we do move I have a bunch of the kids art that I want to like frame and hang up so I think I want to have like an area specific to our house with just like the kids art and then I'll hang this up like next to all of their art pieces but I'm just like so obsessed with this the colors aren't coming up as bright on camera because I have like my brightness up so you can see it better but um she just took crayons and scribbled all over so I'm so obsessed Good morning guys so Oh my goodness, I have been having a morning. I put that tea tree oil on my hair last night. I took a shower. Um, I left it in for like several hours and then I took a shower, but I didn't get all of it out that's like down here. And usually I only take like a couple showers a week. So I'm thinking of taking another shower like right now just cause I don't like that feeling of having oil in my hair like that. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I want to show you this shirt. I've had this shirt for a really long time. I got it back when I only had one kid. And it's so tight. Like, it fits me like it did back when I only had one kid. But it's just this mama bear shirt. I forgot I had it and I was going through my closet and found it. Um, it's really cute, but it, like, it squeezes and it's kind of uncomfortable. And I'm thinking of um, just changing because it is, like, tight and uncomfortable but I don't know I love it I wish it was like a size bigger but yeah that's it for now I don't know how much vlogging we'll be doing this weekend we're going to the beach um so yeah maybe I'll just do a montage of that and yeah mm -hmm. 